Hey everyone, it's Elsie here and I've got a pretty exciting layout to share with you today. Um, I'm guest designing for the Scrapbook and Class Today blog and yeah, I thought I'd create a layout which is kind of quintessentially me. <laughs> so, you know, the stitching, paper piecing, flowers, all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, this video is quite short um and it wasn't until i was i've just like edited the footage together and i was like oh i don't really have a lot um because it definitely took longer than the layout kind of suggested it did um not the layout than the video suggested it um because obviously stitching and things like that but yes you can see what i'm doing here i'm using some maggie holmes um that paper with like the denim background is from Bloom and then that floral is from Chasing Dreams and I'm creating a little snail <laughs> and I was inspired by the Pebbles Tea Lightful collection um, on I've got the 6x12 clear sticker sheet and on that oh I made a boo-boo there I had pencil on my fingers and it got onto the back of the sticker and I couldn't take it off and because it's a clear sticker you can see it and anyway it's a bit of a bit of a palaver but it's fine um, I don't think it's too noticeable in the end um, but yeah I was inspired by the sticker sheet from Pebbles because it has um, it had a little snail on it and I just thought that was really cute so I drew my own snail and then just paper piece it together now I'm drawing lines for stitching and yeah it's a really simple shape and I'm <laughs> I stuck that bonnet down on some white paper because I knew I wanted to give the um snail a little hat yes <laughs> um uh I just thought why not like when else am I gonna ever gonna use a bonnet sticker uh, well, I might as well put it on a snail um and I think she looks really really cute she looks like um an old lady snail like if I don't know if you had like um I don't know in a kid's storybook or something an old lady snail character this is what she'd look like I think and yeah I just it's totally random but I really really <laughs> love the way um it all turned out so yeah I obviously backed her on white paper and stitched through that and then I drew little antennas um I don't know if that's actually what they're called um but yeah they're just kind of swirly and I drew her little face with just like some black pen and now I'm cutting out some clouds of course and then I ended up stitching around the clouds with some white thread um yeah I'm so used to doing the clouds, stitching the clouds I think it's just kind of second nature now um, and I always stitch more than I need um, so I always have some spare anyway I love stars and so I thought okay let's jazz up my background a bit and use some modelling paste or a star stencil and yeah I just love the white on white look and the modelling paste I'm using is from Liquitex and it's the light moulding, modelling paste, moulding paste, I can't remember what it's called um, but yeah I was using um, a cheaper one before that I think it was from PBO maybe I don't know, I think that's how you pronounce their name um, and it was like a high density modelling paste um, so it was quite heavy and yeah it wasn't white um, whereas the Liquitex one is just really white um and it also it's just like it's so much smoother and it um it's so much easier to clean up so i'm completely converted to that now which is really annoying because it's more expensive but <laughs> anyway um yes i have kind of i did a little bit of pre-planning only because i started fussy cutting some flowers out because i wasn't sure what to do um and then yeah i cut out these little birds which i love i just think they're adorable and they're really easy to fussy cut out so yeah i was happy with that um and then the 
title is just going to be Happy Heart. Um, I didn't know what else to call this. I was trying to think of something really punny, but I couldn't think of anything punny to do with a snail. So, um, yeah, I just ended up being Happy Heart. And, you know, that's okay. Um, and that chipboard piece is so big um, that... I don't know, I, d I just thought, um, don't know how I'm going to use that one because it's like giant. But here I think it works really well because it's slightly wider than the um, size of the snail. So it kind of makes the snail look like it's, you know, it's got somewhere to rest. Um, and yeah, it just, it looks nice there because otherwise like if I didn't have something at the bottom of the snail it just kind of looked like the snails floating around anywhere everywhere so yeah it's just one thing that I always try and think of when I'm making a page is to like think about how everything connects and um, making sure everything's like kind of grounded I guess um, I just in my head it doesn't make sense if anything's floaty you know floating around like even with um, the birds that are like by the clouds you know at the top of the page I still had to like stitch them on to make them look like they belong there um, yeah and I just did like a straight stitch with my sewing machine to make it look like they were hanging on a thread kind of thing <laughs> um, and yeah I'm just embellishing all over the place I fussy cut some of the books out um, from the 6x6 paper pad from Chasing Dreams and yeah I just really like the way they look it's very kind of vintagey looking and um yeah just makes it a lot more whimsical I think um so yeah and it adds some like other pops of colour in which I think it it kind of needed um because it was looking a bit too like much of that flower paper it's beautiful but it was <laughs> too much <laughs> um oh I've just got like Edna mode in my head now from the Incredibles you know it's just like too much darling too much <laughs> anyway um so yeah I think that's pretty much it is you know it's quite a simple page to put together I think once I got all the elements down and you know everything just kind of flowed which was nice um and yeah I also fussy cut out some of the butterflies from uh, I can't remember what that paper's called. The paper with all the butterflies from Chasing Dreams on it. Um, and yeah, they as well are really great for embellishing and adding a little bit more colour. Also pop that little chipboard bird in. Because um, he's giant as well and I didn't think I was ever going to use him. But he, he works really well there I think. And yeah, everything I used in this collection is basically from Chasing Dreams. On this layout is from Chasing Dreams. Um, and the only thing was like the bonnet from um, Pebbles. And oh yeah, I added some Gold Heidi Shine splatters because it's Gold Heidi Shine and I was just, yeah, <laughs> I love that stuff. So that's it. I'll leave a link to the blog post down below and all that. And I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah. Give me a like and a subscribe if you want to stick around and yeah I'll be back really soon with loads more of exciting videos, got some really cool things coming up. So yeah, I'll see you then. Bye guys.